between prevalence and incidence. Mention some differences between them. What is prevalence? Prevalence measures the number of people in the population who have the disease at a given point or period in time. Prevalence measures of a disease status or disease burden. This is a difference between the incidence and the prevalence, as picture shows. Prevalence differs from incidence in that prevalence includes both new and pre-existing cases in the population at specified time. Example of prevalence. What is the prevalence of uh, common cold in this class? If the number of cases, that means people with common cold, in the class among 30 students is 3, the prevalence of people with uh, common cold will be 3 over 30 times 100, uh, it will be 0 0.1. But if you, uh, express, if you want to express as percentage, 3 over 30 times by 100, it will be 30%. Types of prevalence. Uh, prevalence can be divided into point prevalence and uh, period prevalence. PP denotes period prevalence. Point prevalence. Point prevalence uh, is the number of cases that exist at a given point in time. Point means uh, point in time. Uh, pre point prevalence is point whereas uh, period prevalence is uh, duration. So point prevalence are placed when the data has been collected at one point in time. P is equal to C over N. Uh, C means the number of observed cases at time T. P means uh, population size at time T. And P is point prevalence. Period prevalence. Period prevalence is the number of cases that exist in the population during a specified period of time. Period prevalence measures the frequency of disease over some time. Period prevalence used when it is difficult to know when the disease uh, will be present. Period prevalence applies uh, when, the when the data has been collected over a period of time. Uh, period prevalence not used frequently since it combines both point prevalence and incidence in a single parameter. Period prevalence is equal to C plus I over uh, C uh, over the population, C denotes uh, cases. So prevalence rate is the count of cases new and old at a point in time in population size defined by characteristics in the place. Uh, prevalence rate obtained from cross-sectional studies or disease registries. So the formula of prevalence rate will be uh, all cases, that is new and old cases over population at risk times by 100. So let us see an example. There is a population of 150 persons uh, this 50 percent will be followed for one year and 25 of them are uh, develop uh, disease at the beginning so another 50 uh, new cases developed during uh, the year so 50 is new cases so when you calculate now you are asked to calculate point prevalence and period prevalence so when we see uh, the point prevalence P is equal to C over N times by 100. So 25 over 150, 0 0.17 times by, uh, by 100 will be 17 percent. So uh, period prevalence will be calculated as PP is equal to C plus I over N. N is population. I means incident cases. C means uh, the number of cases. So it will be the whole uh, to be 27 percent. So uh, this is the incidence. Incidence is denoted by I. Incidence of disease is defined as the number of new cases of disease uh, that occur during a specified period of time, maybe day, month, or year, in the population at risk for developing these diseases. Incidence rate is equal to the number of new cases of the disease over a period of time divided by population at risk during the given time period times by k. k it may be 100, it may be 1000, or 10,000. A risk is the likelihood that an individual will contract the disease. The proportion of an affected individual will contract the disease of interest 
over a specified period of time. Since incidence is a measure of new events, that means a transition from the non disease state to the disease state, incidence measures a risk. Uh, let us see an example. In, uh, in May 1995, there was 15 new cases of relapsing fever in Kavale or local A. Average total population of Kavale was uh, 5,000. So calculate uh, the incidence rate of relapsing fever in Kavale in 1995. So uh, incidence uh, rate calculated as 50 over 5,000 times by 1,000. Uh, the outcome will be 10 new cases per thousand populations. So this means this uh, this interpreted that out of every thousand people uh, living in uh, Kavali A, uh, 10 of them uh, acute acute relapsing fever, relapsing fever. So uh, every thousand people, uh, 10 of them will uh, will be caught by relapsing fever.